All right, guys. It's a uh, balmy 10 degrees above. Tomorrow it's supposed to be minus two in the morning, and the day after that it's supposed to be minus 11. I thought I'd uh, go ahead and show you how I power bed in cold weather. Uh, dug the hole or the bed already. Got a dirt hole here up against this log. Uh, MB 550. Got wax dirt down here already. I didn't want to bore you with all that, so go ahead and get that, you know, how you want it. Make sure none of this frosty dirt's gonna touch. All right. Um, I use four inch screws. I use screws instead of nails because, especially when you get into some hard, hard ground. Obviously, this I had snow on it, so it's not frozen. It will freeze tonight around here. So, first one goes by the dog on the frame. Second one by the pan on the frame. Uh, this one is probably the most important, in my opinion. It goes under the loose jaw, especially with wax dirt. It's hard to get them bedded super solid, so that dude comes in here and fills, you know, you know how it is. I don't have to explain to you. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the fourth one, I put it at an angle. On the opposite jaw, I push it towards the ones I got on the frame. Okay. Then I check it. Sometimes I don't have to put one on this side. If I don't have to, I don't. In this case, I do. Still got a little looseness to it. That's okay. There. That is about as good as you can get in wax dirt. Uh, if you've if you ever used wax dirt, you know what I'm talking about. That trap is about as solid as you're going to get. Don't worry about these. <laughs> this trap will absolutely fire. Um, no doubt about it. Those are going to freeze in like a rock. Those screws. So every time I go and got a coyote, or a fox, those screws are still in the exact spot buried under his, his big pile of mess. Okay, pour on some more wax dirt here. Smooth it out. I hope you can see this. I'm using my left hand. I'm right-handed, so this might be a little awkward. Okay. Go ahead. Bed it like normal. Press it in there. I like to get those high spots out of the way, kind of flick them down. Blend it a little bit, you know, blah, blah. I hope you can see this. Thought I'm wasting my time, but thought I'd try and help anybody out that can't figure out how to get these bedded really solid in this wax dirt i mean some people use nails i just like to use screws because i can get it exactly where i want it i don't have to beat on anything everything is solid except for right where he wants to step which is going to be right in that area so I'll go ahead put a couple sticks in just to pinch him down to keep him off this wax dirt hopefully his foot lands right where I want him to on the first try obviously I don't like to step on pointy things I'll push these down a little bit or 
Okay, that's pretty good. Put a clump of dirt here. Now you get the gist of it. If, if, if you want to block it better, by all means, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a fine, fine. This obviously is gonna freeze just a touch. We got like a 30 seconds of dirt on there. Now you can see everything is nice. I'm gonna throw this dirt over here. So I'm gonna make a false dirt hole on the opposite side of this trail. Just a little bit of snow. Go up high. There we go. Okay, guys, that's it. You got a high bank here on this side, log. I got this, you know, it's on the face of this, so he's gonna pretty much have to come right here. You can block this better if you want. I feel good about this, so pretty much that's it. I think it's about as good as you can get. In this kind of situation, um, just do not worry about the the screws holding that trap down. Once it fires, you know they got the bevel on the edge. They're, it's coming. It's gonna it's gonna catch him. And uh, please, if you're trapping in a farmer's field, make sure you get your screws out, <laughs> four inches especially. He might not like that sticking in a nice expensive tractor tire all right fellas i hope this helps you expect to get one here in a couple days so we will see thanks for watching okay i made a video the other day on uh bed in the trap and this stuff and i mentioned my screws were always exactly where they are there they are frozen like a rock one two three four and five so I'm gonna pull them out, rebed this, probably dig that hole out again. And we will see what happens. Hopefully we get another one here. I know they're around, so. All right, thanks for watching. All right, it's like nine degrees. Uh, had a T-bone set here, and as you can see, I think this coyote came through this brush these two brush piles caught wind of the uh, what I have here hellfire on a t-bone set made one loop didn't even circle the set came right in and it is customary for <coughs> my t-bone sets I hind foot catch them for some reason I think they're urinating on them so we will see i think it's a female pretty little vocal she was howling when i got up here but we'll get her taken care of i got to get to work try and remake this real quick somehow <laughs> it's got plenty of eye appeal now so we'll see what happens thanks for watching fellas Man, this is going to be over with here in a few short weeks. Be another nine or ten months before we can do it again. Keep pushing. It's cold. Negative one right now. But it is beautiful out. I mean, it is gorgeous. Thought I'd share this with you. Oh man, love it. All right. Short and sweet. All right, good morning, fellas. It is cold. 
yesterday I think it was minus seven. I came and had nothing on this this farm. I got five sets out here. Um, my truck's way over there. I had to cross this little gully. It's pretty steep, but it's the best way over here. Uh, pine thicket. Um, you got a field on the back side of this. This is just a nice little runway. Um, that brook down there, it's so cold. That brook is frozen. <laughs> I wasn't going to film that, but I was like, yeah. But anyway, had a dirt hole set up here under this locust tree. And we have a front foot catch on a fairly good looking coyote. Fairly good looking. All right, well, this farmer's gonna be happy because that's another one down off of here. And he has a, I, mean, I don't know if he releases rabbits or what up by his barn, but when I drive through, there's like 20 rabbits bouncing around. I don't know, if, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, but he hates these dudes, so. Oh, it looks like a she, but left me some nice turds here and there. Some pee. All right, we'll get this reset and I'll probably have to come back this evening and reset it because my bucket's over there and I'm not going to trudge back across that. Just get the bucket and come back over here. So, all right, another one down. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. It is bitter cold. I'm talking... <laughs> bitter cold but as you can see the traps are still working nice looking Nice looking. Okay, looks like this one came in. I caught one here a couple days ago. Uh, looks like I had a T-bone at that time. I made this into kind of a trench dirt hole. Looks like he came in the same way. There might have been another one. I got a trap right down there. Let's see if we got one here in a minute, but very nice deep pad catch. MB 550 offset. Um, I don't see that he walked around. Looks like he came in right here. There might be two. Uh, there are actually three. One, two, three. There might be three of them. I got another trap down there and a couple back that way. So hopefully we pick at least one more up. Good looking one though. All right. We'll get him taken care of. Get this reset if I can. Minus 20 is kind of... But I'm going to. Got some wax dirt in there, and we'll get this repopped and get him out of his misery. He looks like he's a little shivery. All right, fellas. Thanks for watching.